This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. All this week, uh, we're playing excerpts of a conversation that I had with the Reverend Kara Rockhill, an old friend of mine from seminary. Kara and I talked six months ago near the beginning of the pandemic about what ministry looked like in Massachusetts and in Lincoln, and we're revisiting our conversation uh, from back then and, and how things have evolved uh, in, in both of our contexts since then. Oh, and I was published in a book. It's back here. Yes. It was published in this book, Preaching Black Lives Matter, um, which was compiled and edited by Reverend Dr. Gail Fisher Stewart. So we'll do a little book plug. I think I'm on page 62. We will. Oh, uh, no, 60, 65. We will drop a link to that in this video. You know, what? Yeah. What has your preaching been like? I mean, the... the... Oh, my poor congregation. My gosh. Uh, there's been lots of... Uh, lots of attempts at motivating to really reckon with our own whiteness mm -hmm. and to take a look at, at... Take an honest look at our lives and figure out how we can use our privilege to help bring about the change that we need to bring about. Yeah. Uh, and so that's been my real focus and, and, um, yeah. And, and lots on forgiveness too. And the real essence of forgiveness. And then I've, I've also attempted you know, every, I don't know about you, Oscar, um, but every, really every pastoral care interaction that I've had lately, um, uh, I've said some iteration of, so in order to love your neighbor as yourself, you have to love yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. But, um, so I, I've, I've preached on that a fair amount too. And this, um, I don't know if I've explicitly said it this way, but you know, the, the way that, that sentence is constructed, it makes it seem like everybody else comes before you. Mm -hmm. um, and particularly for women, for those of us who have society has reared in order to say that you must care for other people at your own expense all the time. But being in, in a pandemic and this, you know, as I said earlier, this stay alive cortex of our brains is all just going crazy. Uh, if we don't take care of ourselves, you know, if we don't love ourselves, we, we can't love other people. And so my preaching's had a lot of that and a lot of, let's actually do the work. Let's be the people. Uh, let's acknowledge that we're white and then try to figure out what that actually means. Yeah. Really lighthearted, fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you, but I've been, I've been like, I've been at least once a month, usually on Thursday night, I've said, God, we just need to like do something light because, yeah, right. because there's so much in the world, but also for me, just yeah. grief yeah. and anger between... It between I, I said that and then Chadwick Boseman died and so my light week was the theology of Black Panther oh. which, which I really I had a lot of fun with uh, yeah. but I can't actually say it was particularly light um, but it gave me an excuse to rewatch Black Panther for the, I, a lot of times yep I recommend that yeah yeah but it's, I think all of us, we need something light. Um, puppies are helpful with, with lightness. I joined another fantasy football league, which you're also in. Yep. Yep. So. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, and and you, you drafted my team for me. In that. I did. I drafted your team. And I did a nice job. Like one guy <laughs> that you had on your bench this week scored like 30 points. I, what is this? Well, you know. I so didn't. I did a good job. Yeah, for my congregants watching this, we had we had our lovely virtual congregational retreat um, that ended up getting scheduled at the exact same time as the draft for the fantasy football league that Kara and I were, were in. And and Kara did not do something like draft a kicker in the first at the first opportunity for me. So I actually said to the group, I was like, "Oh, do I mess with Oscar or not?" 
Um, well, I'm like the last pick. I wasn't going to, you know, yeah, yeah. Not, not in that early. And, and Amy, my, my partner, says from across the room, and it's, can only, I'm in headphones, right? So you can only hear my side of the conversation. Went, no! <laughs> it's like, fine. <laughs> so so you, you almost got Blake Bortles, but you didn't. So. Blake Bortles? We'll have more excerpts uh, from the conversation that Kara and I had as this week goes on. See you tomorrow.